we're asked to write each statement mathematically using an inequality. And we're told to use the variable x unless otherwise indicated. The first statement is two less than t is greater than eight. So we first need an expression for two less than t. So if we begin with t and want two less than t, we need to subtract two from t. And this is greater than eight, and therefore we used a greater than inequality symbol, and then we have an eight. So we have t minus two is greater than eight. Next, we're asked to write an inequality that is equivalent to this inequality using the less than inequality symbol. An inequality can be read from left to right as well as right to left. So reading from left to right, we have again t minus two is greater than eight. But again, we can also read this from right to left as eight is less than t minus two, which is what they want us to write as an equivalent inequality using the less than inequality symbol. So the equivalent inequality is eight is less than t minus two. Notice how in both cases the inequality points toward the eight and is open toward the expression t minus two, and therefore these are equivalent. Next we have four times the sum of a number and seven is less than three. So for the unknown number here, we will use the variable x. So we begin with an expression for four times the sum of a number and seven. So we have four times the sum of x and seven, which is four times the quantity x plus seven, and this is less than three. So we use a less than inequality symbol, and then we have three. And again, we're asked about an equivalent inequality using the greater than inequality symbol. So from left to right, we read this as four times the quantity x plus seven is less than three. But reading this from right to left, we can say that three is greater than four times the quantity x plus seven, which is the equivalent inequality. So three is greater than four times the quantity x plus seven. Again, notice how in both cases the inequality points toward four times the quantity x plus seven and opens toward the three. Let's look at two more examples. Here we have the quotient of five and n is less than or equal to three more than the product of two and n. We begin with an expression for the quotient of five and n, which is five divided by n, and let's write that in fraction form where the fraction bar represents division. So this is the quotient of five and n, and this is less than or equal to, so we have less than or equal to, three more than the product of two and n. Well, the product of two and n is two times n or two n, and we want three more than this product, and therefore we have two n plus three. And again, we're asked to write an equivalent inequality using the greater than or equal to inequality symbol. So from left to right, we have five divided by n is less than or equal to two n plus three. Reading this from right to left, we have two n plus three is greater than or equal to five divided by n. And notice how now we are using the greater than or equal to inequality symbol as indicated. And again, notice how the inequality is pointing toward five divided by n and is opening toward the expression two n plus three in both cases. For the last example, we have four is greater than or equal to the difference between two times x and six. The difference between two times x and six. So two times x is two x, and therefore we have the expression two x minus six. Here we have the difference between two times x and six. So from left to right, we have four is greater than or equal to two x minus six. And we're asked about an equivalent inequality using the less than or equal to symbol to do this, we read this from right to left, where the expression two x minus six is less than or equal to four. In both cases, the inequality is pointing toward the expression two x minus six and opening toward the four. I hope you found this helpful.